we could talk all all podcast about this weekend, but we've got plenty more, including your questions to come through. But one of the things, which is another series, Floris, W Series has had its calendar put out and a pretty damn good calendar. And also they're testing in Arizona with an F4 car. Can you tell us a little bit about everything happening in W? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So um, so the W Series, like last year, is, is on the F1 schedule again, uh, which has its pros because um, the drivers now can show them in front of the F1 bosses, of course. Uh, but also, if you look at the calendar, uh, eight rounds, and we have quite some gaps again. So we have two races in May, and then uh, we, they won't race until uh, July. They have three races in July, and then they won't race until October. So, you know, that's, uh, that's a pity. Uh, everyone hated that from uh, about F2, of course. Um, but, you know, the tracks that are there are interesting. We've got Miami coming in. Uh, this is a new track and some classics of Barcelona, Silverstone, uh, etc. cetera. Um, but the question is, how many races are we going to see? Uh, last year, of course, we had eight rounds uh, or uh, we, had, we had a uh, race per round. Um, and you, you want these uh, drivers to have more track time. And the track time is, is very little track time in the W Series. So I'm hoping they have two or three uh, races around, but I'm, I'm not too positive about that. I think we all would agree a couple of races would be terrific for W Series just to extend that championship and give more track time. Um, but the, yeah, let me just run, run through the calendar quickly. Yeah, Miami, Barcelona, Silverstone, uh, Le Castellet slash Paul Rica, Budapest, Suzuka, Austin, and Mexico. It's a pretty good calendar. I'm, I'm quite impressed with it, especially Tyler. The, the final three races, Suzuka, Kota, Mexico City in one month. That's a, a way to do a, a end of season. Well, not only that, but it's an opportunity to travel, which, I mean, minus the whole expenses and cost issue, is something that I think W Series needs because it's the whole, you know, trip around Europe every time and it, you know I hear it with with younger drivers in in European series when you go to places like Spa when you've been racing at you know Snetterton all season long it's that sort of extra motivation to to really be excited and yes yeah, Suzuka's you know it's a driver's track um you know Austin's one that's getting repeatedly you know more and more exciting and Mexico City you know it's just basically like one by one giant party so yeah I think that's that's really good for the calendar really is. Uh, we apologise to Snetterton for these insulting comments. Uh, <laughs> Tyler does not represent all of our views. <laughs> you're, uh, you're as important as track as any. Uh, any thoughts from you, Chris, just about WCs quickly with uh, what we've got there, with what we've seen this year? It's great. You know, when it started, we only went around Europe and we, and we sort of you know, got to go to Kota last year. And I think that showed the American fans, you know, the, the young talent we have, you know, female talent coming through motorsport. And now that gets to get shown in, in Japan and, and in Mexico as well. Uh, but particularly, I think W Series are now looking at you know, bringing in a younger field. And I think that's very important for the series they brought in. Uh, we had some older drivers in there the first couple of seasons. And I think that was a good thing to uh, get the series off its feet and uh, show the potential that already existed. But now we've got to start showing the the potential that's coming through because the young carters, they're coming through like uh, Teresa Babichkova. I think that's one of the ones that's very exciting, how good she did at the, the grand finals, the Rotax grand finals, which is essentially like W Series. You all get in the, the same car, same engine. Uh, it's just a raffle who gets what car and engine. So, um, and she, she basically, you know, she could have won that on track, but um, but yeah, that's one I'm really looking forward to seeing actually, if she makes it in, of course. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They said, Floris are doing the test uh, as we, as you listen, probably uh, listeners, or as you watch, because they're doing a one week test at the moment with is it 14, 15 drivers uh, with a couple of cars, F4 cars. Uh, can you explain that? I know there's a, as an article, a little plug for the website. That Aisha is, is written on f1feederseries.com, but can you detail this? Yeah, sure. So uh, they're doing a test uh, in F4 cars, so not the regional cars, uh, because they're preparing them in, in Europe. Uh, it, it, it is going to be 15 drivers, like mostly younger drivers, uh, coming from karting, some from F4. Um, and they so they're driving the US spec, uh, spec uh, F4 cars, uh, but they only bring six cars, so they're like uh, every driver is going to do like one and a half days of driving. 
Um, they also got uh, Belen Garcia, who drove last year and drove really well, by mm. the way, um, who is going to set the benchmark lap times for the, for the drivers and they're just going to be there. Um, so the W Series can see how far these drivers are, um, if they are uh, far enough uh, or good enough for this year or maybe next year. So it's a different sort of test from what we see elsewhere. We're actually testing the drivers yeah. for future um, candidacy, I suppose. It's uh, yeah, I, I do love what W Series stands for in terms of meritocracy, um, and I do wish them well. But we'll come back to W Series. We'll maybe talk a little bit about the test, but their championship, yeah, like we say, starting in Miami. So it's May when we'll see those cars on track.